Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic which is on load balancing in SAP environment. So how do we do a load balancing in an SAP system? Okay, so here you can see that we are doing a load balancing between multiple application servers and this is a way using which we can scale the SAP environment. So that's why this is pretty important that we should know how to do a load balancing so that we can spread around, spread out the load on different systems plus we can organize the load, we can basically send the load in an organized manner between different systems. Okay, so that is about uh, the load balancing. Okay, in this screen here you can see that when a user is coming from a browser, okay, it is going to the load balancer and load balancer in turn is distributing the load between different systems. Okay, so what we are seeing here is a server side load balancing. So server side load balancing basically uh, load balancer is connected in front act as a central entry point in SAP system. Okay, so basically it is doing a distribution of load over here. Then we have a client based load balancing as well. Okay, the way client based load balancing works is uh, users coming to a browser and it will do a redirect. Okay, that is about the client based load balancing and next we will see about the load balancing using a message server. Okay, SAP's message server. So here you can see this message server is doing a load balancing. What happens is that when the browser sends a request to the message server, message server returns the address of the appropriate application server to the browser. Basically it is doing a redirect and from there on the browser now sends a request directly to this application server. So the user remains connected to this application server for rest of the duration of the session. So this is how the load balancing is done using a message server in SAP. Okay, now in this slide you are seeing the different types of HTTP request being load balance. You can have a stateful or a stateless request. Stateful request can be done easily load balanced but stateless request can be easily load balanced but the stateful is a problematic for the dispatcher especially because dispatcher doesn't store the state information and it it is difficult to do a stateful load balancer using a dispatcher okay so then let's go into the next slide which is talking about the load balancing in the java environment Okay, this is showing how the load balancing is happening in a Java environment. Okay, now if we need to do a load balancing between multiple Java servers, we can use a web dispatcher which can do load balancing with a Java based scenario or, a, or an ABAP based scenario. Okay, that's what I wanted to cover in this particular topic. Thanks for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.